deep Japan. Because of my surgery, I could not visit somewhere to make a new episode. So today, I will show you the video of original Zero Fighter, which I took on March 31st, 2013, 10 years ago. Zero Fighter is a Japanese fighter plane during World War II. The reason why I make this episode is not that I am the rightist, nor I am the military freak, but uh, Zero Fighter is the first successful Japanese high-tech product Japan has ever produced. And it gave Japanese people in those days a kind of confidence that even Asian countries can fight against Western countries with our own technologies. I can say this confidence and pride Zero gave us led the establishment of motorcycle companies, car companies, or Sony, or Canon, or Nintendo, and so on. It was Zero that opened the door of modern high-tech Japan. Zero is a product of Mitsubishi Corporation. Uh, the chief designer of Zero is Horikoshi Jiro. He was 34 years old. He graduated with honors from the Imperial University of Tokyo. I guess many people wonder why this fighter plane was named Zero. Uh, it may feel natural for you to use Western ear like 2023 this year. But we didn't use it before 1945 when Japan lost the World War II. Japanese royal family is just one family. Uh, we didn't change it. And the first emperor, Jinmu, enthroned in 660 BC. And this is the first year of Japanese calendar. And Zero Fighter made its debut in 2600 in Japanese calendar. Uh, it is 1940 in your calendar. 2600 in Imperial era was a big event. And a new fighter plane was released in that year. So they named it Zero Fighter because it was a fighter type 2600. Zero was the strongest fighter plane when it made its debut. It was superior to Grumman F4F Wildcat or Curtis P40 or Spitfire Mark V. Zero is lightweight and it can fly unbelievably long distance. It can fly like dancing. So the commander of American Navy told the pilots never to do the dogfight against Zero. If they did it, Zero was sure to be right behind them in a minute. But Zero had a weak point. It did not have bulletproof system. America respected the lives of pilots but Japan did not. And as time went by, Japan began to lose most of the battles, and the Zero Fighter became out of date as a fighter plane. So, what happened next? I don't want to talk about it, because it is too sad and too outrageous. It is Kamikaze attack. Many young pilots crashed into American warships. It was a suicide attack. 4,000 pilots did Kamikaze and the success rate was 10%. When I visited National Museum of United States Air Force, in 
Dayton, Ohio, when I was 19 years old, there was a zero fighter there. And there was a monitor just in front of the zero fighter. And it shows a video of kamikaze attack. And all the people watching that movie said, crazy. I was the only Japanese there. I did not say anything actually, but I wanted to say that they were not crazy. They didn't die for the Emperor Hirohito. They tried to believe that they could save the lives of their mothers or sisters by their suicide attacks. I knew they shouted, Mom! when they dived into huge American US air carriers. Zero was born as a confidence and pride of Japan and died desperately in the most cruel mission. But Zero still lives on in our soul. I went to Tokorozawa Aviation Museum in Tokorozawa City, Saitama Prefecture on March 31st 2,673, uh, which is 2,013 in your calendar. This zero is the only one. There are about 10 zero fighters that can fly, but this is the only zero that has the original Sakae engine, uh, Subaru engine, I can say. The other zeros replace the engines to Pratt and Whitney WASP engine, American engines. This zero belongs to Planes of Fame in California. They said this was a last chance to bring it to Japan. It was the event that we can see and hear the sound of original Sakai engine. For this zero, he was never to return to his home country. All the visitors of the event were much older than I. They all shed tears when Zero began to roar. We all knew that it was a farewell from the last Zero. He is manually generating the electricity for the starter. Sugiura Mutsuo, who was in charge of inspecting the inside of the barrel of machine gun of Zero Fighter, invented a gastro camera after the war. Matsudaira Tadashi, 
who was in charge of stabilizing the vibration of zero, designed the air suspension of Shinkansen, Japanese bread train, in 1964. It was the fastest train in the world, 250 kilometers per hour. Nakagawa Ryuichi, who designed the Sakae engine of Zero Fighter, became the president of Fuji Heavy Industry, which is known as Subaru, car manufacturer, now. Lastly, Horikoshi Jiro, the chief designer of Zero Fighter, designed YS 11, the first Japanese passenger plane after the war. At the end of the episode, let me Introduce my collection. This is Zero Fighter Kimono. If I wear it, I feel as if I were a Zero Fighter.